Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez drawing some sharp reaction with her latest comments on our economy as she responded to critics of her plan to increase the top marginal tax rate in this country to 70 percent. I do think a system that allows billionaires to exist mm. when there are parts of Alabama where, where people are still getting ringworm because they don't have access to public health mm -hmm. is wrong. Maria Bartiromo joins us from the World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland. Maria looks beautiful out there. And I know that this is a gathering of, of some of the richest people in the world right there in Davos. How do comments like that go over? Well, I think you make a good point because you've got a lot of wealth here. But the truth is, is people look at that and say, what is that going to do to the economy if you make it so economically difficult for the highest earners? Let me just point out that according to the Tax Foundation, the top 10 percent of earners already pay almost 80 percent of all taxes. So you already have the highest earners paying their fair share, if you will. But, you know, this comment reminds me of something that Mayor de Blasio said about a week ago, and that was he told the gathering, look, there's a lot of money in this city. It's just in the wrong hands. Well, what exactly is the wrong hands? Is the wrong hands Ken Langone, the billionaire who just gave $100 million to NYU Medical School so that NYU could give out free medical Ed school educations, or maybe it's in Steve Schwarzman's hands, who just gave hundreds of millions of dollars to the New York Public Library mm. so that people could have access to new technology in the library. Or maybe it's someone like David Koch or someone who uh, else who has given so much to medical schools, uh, Hank Greenberg, having given hundreds of millions of dollars to New York Presbyterian. So you have to wonder what those billionaires would do with their money if the first thing they have to do is give 70 percent of it yeah. to the government. And let's talk about productivity for a second, a whole other conversation. Mm -hmm. Are you going to really work incredibly hard with the belief that you could earn great success and you could get better and more wealth? And are you going to work really hard if you know that at a point you'll have to give it all to the government? Yeah. I don't think so. Well, so those comments to me, seemed quite naive. She, she said that when asked uh, whether a world that allows for billionaires is a moral outcome, she responded, no, it's not. She did take exception with some billionaires, like Bill Gates, for example, or Warren Buffett. Um, she did not say that they are immoral. I, likely that'll, that might come up a, a couple times out there at the Economic Forum. We'll see. But meanwhile, What's the discussion? What's the tone out there? Obviously, the global economy is a huge conversation. China and a trade deal getting done. What are they talking about? Yeah, for sure. Those are the two big subjects right now, along with technology and robotics. On the global economy, most people are acknowledging that we are looking at a global slowdown. Uh, the U.S. is best positioned, no doubt about it, given the tax cut plan and the boost to growth that we saw last year. But overall, a year ago, we were talking about a synchronized global growth story. Mm -hmm. Now we're pretty much talking about a synchronized global slowdown, mm -hmm. some economies worse off than others. But let's not forget, even though China's economy just slowed to 6%, I think any economy in the world would love to see 6% yeah. economic growth. So I'm not saying that this is, you know, a catastrophe. Yes, we're coming down from higher levels, uh, but I don't think people are predicting yeah. a recession, certainly not this year. China, people want to see a deal done. It looks like both countries really need well, to see a deal done. I expect something to be agreed upon, President, particularly China opening up its market, Sandra. President Trump certainly wants the world to know things are booming here. He's tweeting about manufacturing this morning, among other things. Maria, we'll check back in with you out there in Davos, Switzerland. Thank you.